morning. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue. Come my way, my room is a mess. It could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. I know I must get it right, I must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise. I think I'll let it slide. Honestly, things that I've learned about myself and about Linda since riding with her almost exclusively for two years. Some context, this is her start of her fourth year riding a bike, a uh, road bike. She's done mountain biking before. So what have I learned uh, about myself and what have I learned about uh, Linda in, uh, <laughs> in the couple of years riding together almost exclusively? And uh, <laughs> there's some doozies. There's one thing that's gotten stronger since I've been riding with Linda, again, almost exclusively for a couple of years. It's my FTP. Most of you will know that acronym as my functional threshold power. However, in this instance, it doesn't mean that. What it means is my functional threshold patience. <laughs> if you've uh, been a long time viewer, you would know I've been doing this road cycling lark for about 15 years now. So that's 15 years of accrued fitness. So when Linda got into cycling, road cycling, um, she had a lot of catching up to do. And do I think she'll ever catch up to 15 years of cycling fitness? Probably not, but she's closing the gap. But functional threshold patience. When we started out originally, uh, I didn't have a lot of that. My FTP was very low. I just expected big things because I've been riding with some very seasoned cyclists over a number of years. I wasn't used to riding with newbies, so uh, I wasn't the most patient husband. But it's gotten stronger. <laughs> it's gotten better. Is it exactly where she wants it to be? Probably not. Is it exactly where I want it to be? Probably not. But I am working on it. FTP. Functional threshold patience. That number's climbing. It's not rockets. Whether Linda is too polite to actually participate in the old snot rocket, cleaning up the nasal passages while you're on the bike to allow oneself to breathe better. Come on, we all do it. Now, it's usually a spring fall type of activity, but sometimes in the summer months, one needs to clear the passages. Linda is not a fan of the snot rockets. So the other thing I've learned about Linda is when we start to pull over, grab a breath, grab a drink, <laughs> there's an abundance of tissues. Tissues, tissues, tissues. If you were to look into her saddlebag, her bar bag, you would find her phone, a waffle bar, and about three pounds of tissues. Why? Because she can produce the snot. <laughs> Sign is clearing. See? I wasn't lying. So the other thing I learned about riding with Linda is clothing. Linda, and she may or may not agree with this, but she tends to dress for any and all occasions, any or all eventualities that may happen on the bike. So we may leave the house, it's 25 degrees, but she's got it all on, all of it, just in case, you never know. I wholly disagree with that statement. It's a fact. I dress for the weather I'm experiencing when I leave the house. So if it's gonna warm up 15 degrees in the first 30 minutes of the ride, I'm gonna blow up because I'm hot. <laughs> It's, she, she wears it all, she gets it all on. <laughs> and then it starts peeling off as the ride continues. Hey! And then Maddie got big. <laughs> and who, Muggins here, has to schlep it around. Da primeira vez que eu te vi menina Meu coração I don't know if you can tell, maybe more of the um, eagle-eyed viewers can tell. This is uh, 
a different day, a different outfit, kind of, sort of, different kit. <laughs> so uh, day two, yesterday um, we were up in the Gatineau Park, uh, lumpy lumpy climb, lumpy lumpy ride, lots of climbing, lots of fun. Mm. <laughs> but today is a flatlander and uh, riding with Linda again. Everybody. <laughs> She's having so much fun. I am having fun. Stop making it sound like I don't have fun. I'm not very good at it, but I have fun. FT patience here. FT patience. Maybe not uh, not having as good a time as me behind him. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's a couple of things uh, we're work working on today. Uh, Linda's trying a new hand position. Um, when I look back on Linda, when I look behind at Linda riding behind me, I uh, notice her uh, her shoulders are right up around her uh, ears and uh, she looks petrified all the time when she's on the bike. So we're trying a different hand position today. I, I think you have tried it in the past. Yeah, I've been up. I'm yeah. trying to do it more, be up on the top here. Yeah, so it's hands on the tops, especially um, I find it's advantageous when you're climbing. It really opens up the chest and increase the breathing capacity. So we're going to try that. And we have been trying it. So far, so good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. far, it's just uh, remembering to to be in a different position because I'm pretty used to sitting on the hoods because I'm a little bit petrified and a lot exhausted. <laughs> I think it's the same face <laughs> and I'm near my brakes all the time. And the other thing is trying to get her to ride a bit closer to my rear wheel. Oh, that again. Yeah. That old chestnut. Yeah, she's, uh, she's petrified of wheel Easy sucking. with the P word. <laughs> petrified. <laughs> when we started riding together a few years ago, I'd like, she'd be like, <laughs> Way back, I like you know it's easier. Thirty percent savings if you just no. I'm good back here. Uh, there's a couple of things there. One of them is sometimes I just can't maintain. I can have little spurts where I'm behind him and I'm okay, but I can't maintain at his pace. So that is a factor. And the other one is uh, I don't have a lot of confidence in my maneuverability and my skills. So I worry if I'm too close and he slows down, I'm just gonna hit him. So you know, okay, fine. Let loose with the P word. Petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Things we are learning, riding together. Uh, year persevering. Four. Oh, per <laughs> not petrified, persevering. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. And we made it home. So yeah, I don't know if you spend a lot of time riding with your significant other, your spouse. Um, have you learned different things about her whilst riding with her or him? <clears throat> Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I will say though that uh, sometimes it's a struggle. It certainly is a struggle and Linda will agree to that. But uh, I, uh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. I wouldn't trade it in for the world. We, uh, we do enjoy ourselves most of the time when we're on the bikes. Uh, that's it guys. Have a great week. We will regroup next week. Uh, have a new kit to unveil. It arrived this week. Um, more details on that to come. Take care.